Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Erwin? Fine, thank you. Enjoying the weather. Oh, <laughs> it's so different. Man, it rained out of the sudden. Yes. It's, um, it's very different. Maybe, maybe raining in, in, in general. You mean that the weather is changing? The weather has changed? I don't know. Yeah, the weather has changed during yeah. the last 10 years, five years. It has changed drastically. Yes. That is correct. And that's our topic for today. We have to talk about comparisons. We need to use comparisons. Hey, Fer, how are you? I'm fine. I'm a little tired, but I am happy to be here. Awesome. <laughs> that, that, you don't convince me. You don't sound <laughs> so certain. I'm happy to be here, you know. I'm tired, but happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so tired too, but anyways, it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I had to feed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the money for the crackers. Yeah. Gonna make some money for the crackers. Hey, do you know what does it take to um, create an HTML website to take calls? Are you familiar with that? Uh, you, are you asking to me? Yes, I am. And I <clears throat> this year I I was working in a in a system that uh, registers the the dates for our ortho orthodons ortho orthodons orthodoncy uh huh yes yes is something like that to take call but this is to to the schedule. Uh, See, the schedule, no, uh, you are the patient, the patient uh, goes to, uh, arrives to, to, the, to the clinic and they register, they register your, your name and you are waiting for, you are in queue. queue. Oh, 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 no, but what I need is assistant to receive calls, phone calls. Mm, yes, maybe. Something like asterisk. Asterisk is a assistant to, to receive calls, but yes, I, I don't remember. It is free. It's free, free to pay, but you have to conf, 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 you have to Con, configure, configure it. Con, configure it. it. You have to, to start a server, configure it, uh, your IP direction, your your the, the telephone that works with with this system is uh, telephones, cell phones, or mm -hmm. that have to, to, to no, be connect. I, I need everybody. I mean, you can call to that number, to that toll-free number, a 1-800 number. Yes, you do. You, you, you will need to. You will need to, to uh, upload or you to a server. In server is are in internet is in internet so if you configure a well or or your your system uh, anyone can call to you okay man i need to do a research on that find out the best way to do it it is for your business yeah, somebody needs me to work with her 
on her own mm -hmm. business and and I'll be the one taking the calls, you know, but it's a whole new thing. Uh, I don't know. Okay, guys, how many are we now? Let's see, we are 11. Okay, don't forget to turn on your camera and put your full name, put your full name, it's very important. Okay, so let me do the attendance before we do anything else. Um, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. All right, so Andres, somewhere. Yeah. welcome. Okay, Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Hete Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. I think Hete is not here yet. Okay. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. ¿Cómo se escucha, papá? <laughs> Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Here, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Okay. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Re Roberto Luis Sumay Orellana. There he is. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. is not here. Hey, Jose Alberto, welcome. Uh, Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Hey. Good. Uh, thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante is driving. Welcome. Okay, guys. Um, so, Haiti is here too. Oh my God, guys. Is the weather crazy around you too? Are you having weather issues? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of rain, right? Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Nobody was expecting it to rain today. Okay, guys, so remember I asked you to create a WH question for the class every time, you know, to bring an open question. Okay, do you have an open question? Anybody? Has anybody formulated an open question? Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the weather. I just want to have an open question compa uh, comparing numerous things, you know. So my question will be, what kind of weather do you prefer? And by the way, what are the kinds of weather that you know? What are the kinds of weather that you know? Seasons of weather. Weather. Good, seasons are kind of different, let's say. What kind of weathers could you mention? Fine, um, sunny, sunny, windy. Rainy, windy, sunny, okay. Cloudy, freezing, cold, cold weather. Uh, William again? I don't know, freezing. Freezing. Freezing, freezing, freezing. Freezy. Oh, freezy. Freezy. <laughs> freezing yeah. weather. Wow. That's too, too, Warm. too extreme. Warm weather. What about tropical weather? Okay. Rainy. Rainy weather. Tropical weather. Snowy. Foggy. foggy. Oh, my God. The foggy weather of London. Right? Did you know that in London, there's not much sun during the year? It's mostly, it's mostly foggy in some parts of London. There's no sun. 
it's always raining, you know, foggy, humid, humid, humid. Okay, so I'm gonna split you. Please talk to your classmates and hey, say, hey, what kind of weather do you prefer? Um, let me see, Yuri, what kind of weather do you prefer? Give us an example. Uh, I prefer uh, winter because is you can see the 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 the, the uh, everything red green. Wait, uh, oh, the spring. Yes. No. Uh, no. Spring, no, uh, spring. Uh, what is the spring? Is uh, when the the tree change the the eye uh, is good. I saw that change of leaf, leaf. the leaves. The leaves change the color. That's like autumn. It. Autumn is when the the tree leaves change to red. You know, brown. But spring is when everything is blooming. All the flowers are blooming, you know, you have a lot of colors, that's spring. Yeah. Mm. No, I prefer the last part, but I don't know. Is the last time of the, this year, this, in this period of time, this season, I don't know what is the name, <laughs> I forget. Um. What is the name of that season? Summer. Summer? Summer, no. So yes, you have summer, autumn, spring, winter, and fall. Fall. Fall is when yeah, the trees are falling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, everything is dry. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. So Okay, let me split you just for five minutes. Talk to your classmates about different weathers. You know, what kind of weather do you prefer? Our main goal right now is to use comparatives and superlatives, remember? What's better? What's the best? Okay, let's go. There is a windy, right? Right. Windy. My case, I prefer the rainy, um, windy. I prefer. I I prefer uh, sunny days or maybe maybe misty misty days or breezy or what breezy what is breezy when the the air is is strong and ah. How do you say? Como el viento está fuerte, que que se siente. But it's not the same windy, no. It's, it's the same. Maybe. Synonym. Yes. yes, it's a synonym. Very good. Oh, I see. But you know what? No, um, windy. It's always you know. There's a lot of wind. The whole day, the whole day, but freezy, uh, freezy is like cold air and southern, southern air, mm -hmm. just like, just like at the beginning of October mm -hmm. or at the end of October nowadays, right? At the end of October, 
you're, you're, I mean, there's no wind. There's no wind, and all of a sudden, I'm like, what? <laughs> that, that's freezing. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I prefer some rainy, like um, in sunny days and windy, like October. Windy. I love the. I I live in Chalatenango. It's cold. Uh, it's windy. And, um, now it's over. Mm, 17 grades is almost cold but at night during Valentine's yeah I can I must take a shower but it's really difficult uh, especially at 5, 5 a.m <laughs> or 4 a.m it's the most powerful <laughs> <laughs> sensation because um, when you take up take a shower in a cold day, your skin is or can get more firmly. I know. You know I, I, I take a shower with hot water every day. I couldn't do it any other way. I don't like cold water. You are so lucky. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have uh, hot water in my house. Charmos, that no, I know. Thermostat. Yeah. Yep. I don't know how, how you call that, but we have a B B. I don't know how you, how you call it, but this uh, that keeps uh, a water warm in bathrooms. And... Oh, the heater. The heater. Mm -hmm. Well, we we use water heating here. We have water heating uh, devices, not a water uh, heater for the whole house. Or you may have a water heater on your basement or on your yard, on your backyard. Some neighborhoods um, have water heating for the whole neighborhood. Oh, really? Yep. In Santa Ana, there's, there are some neighborhoods with water heaters for the whole neighborhood. You know, you just don't need that. It's already installed for the whole neighborhood. Crazy. I didn't know about that. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 I don't like cold water. Especially in in those in those uh in those days. These days. These days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my son was telling me that, but it is bad for animals and, and humans to take hot, cold, I mean, hot water showers. It's bad for really? your skin. Yeah, that's what he said. He likes watching videos of uh, nutrition and health, you know, things like that. I have heard that that it has different benefits if you take a shower with cold water and if you take a shower with warm water. Look at Russians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they even have a contest every year there's a contest for the coldest men in Russia it's crazy yeah they are machines Not Yvonne, is it my imagination or you cut your hair? Yeah. You I cut it. Um, two weeks ago. Really? I hadn't noticed until now. <laughs> yeah, two weeks ago. <laughs> but I, I prefer, uh, I like winter. 
very much because I play I play different types. How do you say semillas? Seeds. Seeds. And I, you like you like I, gardening? Yes, I. I I, I like um, sembrar. I plant the plants. Uh -huh. Plants or vegetable or or what kind of vegetable and milpa and, uh -huh. and pata 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 to. Tomatoes and potato. <laughs> potatoes, potatoes, <laughs> potatoes, and yuca. Oh, oh. Ah, delicious. Cucumber, different. Cucumber, cucumber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Loroco. Do you have a, a big lamb? Yes. I, uh, uh, I live in near the, the beach, La Playa. Oh. You live near the beach? Yes. Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in La Playa, Las Hojas. Oh my God. I heard that there's an amazing dish. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations for you. Do, you. do you like the farmer? Sorry. Jose, do you like yeah. the, far the farmer? Do you like the farmer? You like farming? Yes, farming. Or actually, this will be like gardening, 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 gardening. Yes. gardening. I like gardening. So you're close to Hotel Las Hojas. Yes. Oh my God, man. He's the only. He's the only. We should go. We yeah. should go visit you at the end of this module. December 17th, Friday. Okay. <laughs> we should do an excursion to Las Hojas. I always wanted to go Las, Las, Hojas, Las Hojas. Where is that? I'm sorry. Is that... Where is it? Zacate? No. I... The, the department is What's the Zacate, Coluca. Zacate, right? Yeah. Municipio de <laughs> San Pedro. San Masaguan. Pedro, Masaguan. My God, you're pretty far away. But, uh, is it hot in where you live? Mm. Is it hot? Is, uh, the weather is different. And... In the morning is is Carolina. I never learned the that is not the the song. Carolina, que cocina. <laughs> no, I never that. heard that one. <laughs> no, the one that I sing to you is, it was, I think that was the only hit of that band. Necesito probar tu pen. I can't remember the, 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 no. the name of the brand, of the, the band. band. Ah, I think that was the only hit. I don't know, but it's my co-workers uh -huh. sing the song, Karuni, something like that. I don't remember.
Yeah, I don't think that's too old. I mean, there are many songs about Caroline. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't remember the name of that band. Ah, I'll find out. Okay, so what do you say, Caroline? What's your favorite kind of weather and why? My favorite weather is rainy. Absolutely rain, raining because first I like I like to sleep. So when the the weather is very hot, oh my god, for me it's difficult. It's the only thing for me is uh, too difficult difficult to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, when the weather is hot, you cannot sleep unless you're very sleepy. You know, unless you're very tired. If you're really tired, you definitely go to sleep really quick. Yeah. But, but because uh, on the bed, I, I stayed around and around. But sweating, <laughs> sweating. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Okay, uh, what's your favorite activity, guys, on your favorite kind of weather? Jose Alberto, what's your favorite weather? I, I, I love Jose Alberto's weather, I'm sure. In La Palma, oh my uh, God. Um, it's rainy and windy. Uh, now in La Palma, it's, it's windy, it's, it's, it's cool. Uh, I like it because I sleep uh, very, very good. And when I wake up, uh, I have the, uh, the, the feel to uh, start my day with a good uh, sense. A good mood. Yeah. A good mood. You stand, You got to be on good mood every day with that weather, man. A cup of coffee, the wind yeah. blowing, the pine trees. Oh, my God. I need a vacation. Okay. Jocelyn? Tell me. What's your favorite kind of weather and what's your favorite activity? Well, my favorite kind of weather is sunny. Sunny weather? Hot or just normal? Um, it's very hot or normal. I really like to go to the beach. Actually, I can surf. I am not a good surfer, but I can. Awesome. And I really I love it. I would like to live near a beach, believe me. Like in Puerto Libertad, I would love I know. I know, but we, we turn we turn brown, you know, after some years. I used to be white. Really? Yeah, I lived for six years in, in Puerto de Libertad and I, I learned to surf. Well, I was able to stand on the surfboard, you know. I never, ever got a good wave. I never got a good wave. But I love the feeling of being in the middle of the ocean, you know. Yeah. On the table, waiting for the shark. <laughs> I was always afraid of sharks and fishes, you know, uh, on your feet. That was crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. One more. Irwin. Uh, for me, I prefer summer. Summertime? Yeah, summertime. Why? What, what activities do you like to do in the summertime? Uh, I would like to go to the beach. I would like, would like. But you're always busy. Well, the beach, I would like, but I can do it. There's always a lot of uh, work. Yes, and I would like to take a vacation, but I can do it. Man, you should. <laughs> you should but, take a vacation. Yes, but in the future, I will do it. In that moment, I can do it. Learn to delegate. Okay, someone else. Yes, I, I know. Someone else. One more volunteer. Tell me why your weather is better than the others. Okay, no one. Yeah, my favorite weather is the rain as well. And my favorite activity is kissing under the rain. 
<laughs> if you have never, if you've never kissed your couple under the rain, you haven't lived your life. If you have never go jogging, jogging under the rain, man, it feels amazing to jog, to, to really do exercise under the rain. It is amazing. Uh, yeah, cold weather is my thing. I would like to live in, in El Boquerón, you know. Hey, there's a lot of new residences, new, a lot of new neighborhoods in El Boquerón, in case you didn't know. Very expensive. Yeah. Okay. So why are we talking about comparisons? Well, because we have to decide what's the best way to go, you know, with with um, our channels of distribution. And we're gonna talk about that again. Yes, we have to. Channels of distribution, but it's gonna make, it's gonna be fun, don't worry. We're gonna learn a lot today, vocabulary wise. You're gonna make an exposition in this class today, but I want to finish what we started yesterday. We were talking about certainty and uncertainty words. So, <clears throat> and expressions, okay. Let's go with number one. Where does it go? Where does certainly goes? You know what? I, I should rather take a picture of this and share it to you so we can modify it together and then share it on the group as a one unique picture. Let me share this document. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Okay. Where does certainly goes? Certainly. Uncertainty. Certainty? Certainty. Okay. Certainty. Supposedly. Uncertainty. Certainty. Now, this word is not that used, that common in English. Supposedly. 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 Okay. Supposedly. Yeah. Okay. Naturally. First one. Certainty. Certainty? Mm -hmm. Naturally. Of course. Okay. Possibly. Uncertainty. 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 Yeah. It's not likely to happen or yeah. Okay. Is this easy? What am I doing? Okay. Possibly. What about apparently? Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Apparently you're right. Okay. Presumably. Don't like that. Yeah, exactly. Uncertainty. Certainly. Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Okay. Presumably, what about of course? Of course. Certain. Certainty. Certainty. Okay. Right. Totally. Probably. Uncertainty. 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 Okay. Obviously. Certainty. That's Caroline's favorite word. Oh, yeah. Okay, obviously. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I miss I miss Alan. I Me miss too. Alan. Oh my god. Uh, he used to, you know, mm. play pranks on you, play jokes on you, and that was funny. Okay, doubtless. <laughs> doubtless. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, doubtless. No doubt. No doubt about it. Okay. I think you got this topic right. Um Try to practice on your book, on your workbook. There's a space for you to write sentences with this kind of words. I'm in trouble now. Um, I'm sending to you the image, but also there is a lecturing that we're gonna do. We're going to split the class in four groups so you can prepare an exposition, okay? On the exposition, we have four main topics. One of them is very small. If you look at your chat on, on Zoom, I'm sorry, your chat on WhatsApp. <clears throat> read the intro, the strategic plan. I'm just gonna read it for you. You can read it on the WhatsApp if you want. Getting distribution for your new product. That's the topic. Distribution is critical for every startup, for every startup, so you start a business. It's all too common for a startup with a great product to fail 
due to lack of distribution. When you start a new business, if you don't have distribution, you are doing nothing. Mostly if your business grows. If your business model is designed to rely on distribution partners to deliver your product to the market and you don't have experience building and managing a distribution channel, then take the time to properly prepare for this task. Your startup's success may depend on it. Your success may depend on the right distribution channel. A common mistake many entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs make is banking on a specific partner as they create their product. You hear it all the time on ABC's Shark Tank. Have you watched the Shark Tank? Yeah. Are, are you, sorry, are, are you screen? Are you sharing the screen? No, no, no oh, okay. I'm just reading what it's on your WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, new word, banking. Instead of betting, <laughs> instead of betting, you say banking. Hmm, interesting. Maybe just in this context, okay? Be careful with that. For example, some people may say, I only need to be on QVC. What is QVC? It's the same as we need to get into Walmart. We need to get into Walmart. QVC is a chain, it's a retail store chain in, in the United States. <clears throat> if we're in Sephora, we'll hit our numbers. What is Sephora? And here is where you start getting acquaintance, you know, getting to know many um, culture, a lot of, you need to learn about the American culture, guys. Sephora is a store, cosmetic wholesaler, you know, they have lifestyle centers, they sell perfumes, it's like Siman, the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so on. Uh, the reality of startup life is that most things don't go according to the plan, according to plan. And that means entrepreneurs shouldn't pin. Oh, shouldn't pin their company's hopes on a single distribution partner. The smart move, the smart move is to create a plan to target multiple distribution partners in multiple areas. So I will split the class in four groups now and give you each group, you know, will have a specific task. So the first group, pay attention. Están siguiendo las instrucciones. Alguien se perdió. No, all good. Okay. Okay. So first group: Josué Alberto, Luis Ernesto, Miguel Ángel, Roberto Luis, and Suleima Yvonne. First group is going to talk to us about decide on distribution types. Decide on distribution types. Repito, este es en su WhatsApp. Ahí está en negrita cada uno de los topics. Group number two, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto, Caroline Yvette, Heidi Eugenia, Irene, Sandra. You have topic number two, profile your optimal distribution partner. My God, that's really good. Again, it's number two, profile your optimal distribution partner. Group number three, Andres Giovanni, Johnny, Jose Antonio, Yuri, and William. William Alexander, step number three, easy. Create your target list for each category. Create your target list for each category. And number four, Ada, Irwin, Fernando, Daniel Alfonso, and Jocelyn. You need to practice your partner sales speech. Oh, you need to practice your partner sales speech. That has a lot to do with sales. It has to do a lot with sales. Uh, when I used to train sellers in, in Fe Alegría, I used to train uh, the seller's career. And what they used to do is write down a sales speech. Have you ever been to the Cameron? Yeah, of course, right? And you go to the Cameron <laughs> on your last day 
or at the end of your visit, what happens? They go like the steel de Jehová, right? Hey, come on, here, here. Do you have a minute? Let me talk to you about the Cameron, okay? <laughs> and they try to sell you a partnership, you know, um, a subscription to their program, a monthly subscription. Have you been there? Have you been there? Okay. Did you like it? No? Super rápido. Esta gente está entrenada en tal punto que llegan hasta aprender a escribir al revés para ponerte la hoja enfrente y poderte escribir para que tú leas sin ver la hoja, o sea, o viendo las redes. It's, it's crazy, oh my God. So, that kind of techniques, this kind of approach, oh, this kind of approach is uh, what you need on that last step, Jocelyn. Okay, and for, keep an eye on that. So, prepare your topic because after group number one goes number two, everything has a sequence so you need to explain very well to your classmates your point. You got it? Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? We're working on page, this is page 13. We're working on, this, on a decision matrix, okay? That's our topic for today. We have to compare distribution options using a distribution matrix. Define what's the best option for our product. So I invite you to figure out, you know, what kind of product will you sell as an interpreter and decide what will be the best distribution channel. If you do this right, it's going to help you in your whole life. Okay, so let's go. Let's start. types yeah okay most products can be delivered through multiple channel types betting on one type of channel is extremely risky even if you land a partner you may not be able to control their performance think about all your options here are some examples. Retailers, wholesaler, distributor, bar, value added reseller, consultant, sales agent, dealer, direct internet, direct catalog, direct specialized internal sales team. I don't know if you want that copy that part and put in the in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see. Copiar mensaje copiado, ok. Vamos a ver si lo puedo poner en el chat. No sé si sale completo. No, no sale completo. <risa> No. No, no sale completo. Justo la parte de nosotros. Pero te vamos a probar así. Let's try it this way. Yeah. No. Vamos a ver. Sí, está bien. Hoy sí. Think about all options. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to talk about the, the product of the production distribution. Distribution. Okay, we can we can say or decide what kind of program to going to choose. For example, I think we I in my opinion we're going to work with technology it can be a new cell phone a new iphone or okay or another i don't know what you what your opinions are um I'm not really sure, but in this context, it's a, a general opinion, right? It's not drilled down in the topic. Or, well, this is my, my opinion in this case. Because depending on the product is the optimal distribution partner. If you're going to sell a, a cell phone, you're not going to choose as a partner. Uh, like a Siman, a Curacao. Maybe Siman, a Curacao, or the partners okay. in that kind of product. I'm not really sure, teacher. Can you, you give a example? Or, yeah, I, I uh, a little bit lost. <laughs> Okay, you you feel a little bit lost on your topic in your group number two. Okay, let's see. Profile your optimal distribution partner. Follow the questions. What kind of customers does this company need to have? Now, as I told you, what kind of product do you have? What kind of skills and experience will the company need to have to sell this product? I think everything has to do with choosing the right distribution channel has to do with choosing, um, it, it, you have to base the decision on the product, not just the consumer, but the consumer is very important because that's your target, you know, how are you going to reach them? For example, let's say we want to sell detergent, clothes detergent. You know, in El Salvador it's very common not to use uh, liquid, detergent right do you use powder do you use powder detergent yeah lately i'm using liquid detergent because of yeah. I, we have a new washing machine so that machine requires requires uh liquid detergent and it works better you know eh, it's kind of the same thing for me the thing is that if you have a brand of liquid detergent and you know that your market is not used to use liquid detergent, how will you reach them? But I, I mean, in this case, uh, I, I think I'm a little bit lost because I'm not really sure it's about the product or it's about the profile of the partner that you need to get in order to reach your goal. So there's a sequence, and the first step, you have to decide upon the distribution types, right? What type of distribution are you choose? Are you choosing? Okay, so let's continue with the detergent option. So, for example, what would be the best option for a, for a liquid detergent? If I want a direct channel, can I sell the liquid detergent on the internet by catalog? 
internal sales team. What do you think is the best way to approach the product to the, to the consumer? Supermarket. Supermarkets. Okay, let's say you decide among you, you know, you decide going for distri distributors, retailers, okay? So in that case, how do you decide which retailer, which distributor? Mm, okay, and no. then you, you start making these considerations. What kind of customers does this company need to have? Who uses uh, liquid detergent? No. Wh whoever has a, a washing machine, right? Okay. Does everybody have a washing machine nowadays in El Salvador? No. Will you, uh, sell, will you sell liquid detergent in Soyapango? Not really, uh, unless, unless, uh, even though you have your washing machine, mm -hmm. you don't use it. Uh huh. And that's the point. How do you convince? I mean, that that's something ap apart from our topic. At this point, you already have studied your niche of market. You know your different mm -hmm. markets in the country. At this point, um, you already know what customers prefer. You already did marketing, you already did your marketing and everybody knows your brand. How do you distribute it? Okay, listen yeah. to the next question. Uh, what kind of skills and experience will the company need to have to sell this product? They need to know what I just mentioned. Okay, know the niche of market and know the product, just like any other product. You need to know the product. What kind of geographical territory does the company need to have, need to serve what we're talking about, which, which is your market? Are there any quantitative criteria such as the size of the company, the number of locations, the number of sales reps, the number of customers they have, or the number of years they've been in business? Now we're talking about entrepreneurs. You're new to the market. You don't have entrepreneur, yeah. You, you, you're you're just studying. I mean, you're just studying with a new brand. So you have to organize the idea and based on that, decide what's your optimal distribution channel. Think like a, a brand new starter, a starter company. Okay? Okay. It's a general idea. You don't have to be a pro, a pro you know, on the exposition. <laughs> okay? Entrepreneur. Okay. Okay, keep it up. Thank you. You're welcome. Todas las empresas potenciales por categoría. help. Okay, how are you doing? I said, what the water? What? You're going to be selling us a sell what the water? That's crazy. No, teacher, we are lost. You're lost. Oh, why are you lost? Okay. Do you need to read the previous topic? On the previous two topics, you know, first they decided which were the different options. Let's decide the distribution types. So let's say they decided retailers, okay. On the second stage, they profile the optimal distribution partner. So if you have retailers, what retailers do you have? Supermarkets, okay. What are the most strong, what are the strongest supermarkets? In El Salvador. Okay. Selectos, Select Walmart. Mm -hmm. Price Mart. Price Mart. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. The most popular will be La Despensa Familiar, right? Okay. But popular, you know, in terms of their niche of market is just the whole population. But anyways, so you have four supermarkets. Create your target list for each category. Okay. 
It's time to begin creating your list. Review each ideal partner description and list all potential companies to fit the criteria by, by category. So let's say we have uh, super selectors. They have a hundred stores. They have a hundred branches. Okay. Walmart, they only have 20 branches. Okay. Uh, Dispensa Familiar, they have 50 branches in the whole country. Okay. Now you have to find them. How many branches they have? How much they sell? You can access the database, you know, do a research. How much, how much of your product niche of, uh, how much of your product line do they sell? So if you're selling shampoo, how much do they sell on shampoos in general? In general, head and shoulders, suavitel, whatever. Okay, you have an idea. Okay, what advantages do they offer you? How much do they charge you? What is their percentage for selling your product, reselling your product? So you take a look at all of these advantages and these advantages or, or drawbacks, and you make a list of each category and that's it. The next team, the next group will practice your partner's sales pitch. You know, the next team will practice this, the pitch. So keep it up. Did you understand? Kind of. Okay, es tan fácil como crear un listado de las diferentes opciones. O sea, ya, ya sabes, ya elegiste qué, qué tipo de, de canal de distribución vas a utilizar. Ahora tenés que elegir porque entre cada canal de distribución ya está, eh, ya está configurado, digamos, las reglas del juego. Esas reglas son las que tenés que enlistar. O sea, es como poner todos los diferentes canales de distribución. Si elegiste retailers, revendedores, pues cuáles son las características de cada uno las ventajas, desventajas que te ofrecen, ¿ya? ¿Cuál es uh, la mejor opción? En base a esa lista, vendrá el siguiente grupo y va a definir qué es lo que va a hacer, qué, qué, uh, qué distribuidor o qué, uh, cuál de ellos ele elegirá, ¿ya? Simple. Es un study, basically. Ok, wake up, William. Come on, you can do it. Andrés, I don't see you. Okay, teacher, I, I just coming from San Salvador, teacher. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Good, good. Pero, ¿se has, yeah. ¿se has entendido algo? ¿Se ha... Yes, I, I was listening in all the class. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, try to work, guys, so we can get back and do a little exposition. Okay. okay. How are you doing? Mm, I guess we are doing well. Uh, we have some ideas. We already shared some ideas too. Okay, basically you got 
some of the easiest part. <laughs> hmm, not really, teacher. It, it sounds well. difficult, but if you think as an entrepreneur, getting into a supermarket, for example, um, you may get it. If you're producing, what's the volume? That's based on yeah, how much volume you're producing at this point. So you have to set the pace, you know, to the distributor that you have selected. It's like, listen, I can just provide a maximum of a hundred orders, a hundred orders per day. That's what I'm producing right now. So I could my maximum per week only for you could be 50 units, you know, of the product. Okay. What kind of marketing can you offer to the distributor? Because in the end, remember, um, their job, their business is to get profit out of your product, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, teacher. I'll be here. Let me know if you need, if you have any questions. Okay. Was Jury in this group? No, teacher. No. Oh. Good, good. You still need more time to prepare? <laughs> I see you so quiet and serious that I guess you're preparing something, right? Are you? I guess that we are ready. We have some ideas and we will try. I don't know. Okay. Guys. Okay. I thought you were preparing something. That's why I was not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back. It's 904 already. Okay. Just wait for the others to do the attendance. Hey. No sé, hija. Okay, so I think we're ready. Uh, let me do the attendance. It's 9.05 already, so... Let's go with that first, and then we move on with the expositions. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza, 
Present teacher, pero todavía estoy en la calle. Ok, ok. Uh -oh. okay. Be careful. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Thank you, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosmel Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. He was around. He was driving. There he is. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy was here. No, she said she was driving. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. And Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Present. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, William. <laughs> okay. So, group number one. Josue, Luis, Miguel, Roberto, and Suleima. Let us hear you talk about the first topic on your chat. Direct, no, decide on distribution types. Okay, go ahead, guys. All yours. Okay, teacher. Um, um, to decide uh, to the right uh, distribution channel, we think uh, that is important uh, to know uh, what product uh, do, do you want and how uh, is the, the market for that product. Uh, for example, we have, uh, uh, for example, uh, the brand of uh, vegetables uh, for that product. Uh, we think that the best um, uh, type of distribution channel is uh, retailers, wholesaler, and maybe a direct channel selling our product by internet. And we can take advantage, uh, for example, in the sales or internet, take advantage about apps, uh, for example, Google, and for example, Pedidos Ya. If you want to expand uh, the brand, out of the local market uh, to get more consumers uh, and, and improve uh, the sales of your of your product. But uh, the, uh, the distribution channels is not the same if you have a service or if you have a perishable uh, items. Uh, you need to identify what is the pros or contrast of every every uh, channel to identify the best way to increase uh, your sales and 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 on your product. Ooh, very good. I will add a little bit more of emotion. You know, speaking, smiling. But you, you got it, you, you're speaking very well, congratulations. Just two things that I noticed, uh, you decided to decide for the right distribution channel, to decide to the district, uh, to decide for the right distribution channel. What are the pros and cons? 
What are the pros and cons? What are the pros and cons of selecting which distribution channel? Okay, uh, does anybody else on the group want to add anything else? Jose, Miguel, Luis Ernesto. They are agree with me. <laughs> yes. Everything okay. Everything is okay. Yeah. I, I I agree. We all agree. Okay. Uh, so you're selling vegetables. Um, yeah. At the beginning of of the fresh lecture, vegetable. vegetables. Yeah. Fresh vegetables. Fresh, fresh vegetables. vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen ratatouille? Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you remember the scene where? The lady explains to uh, Linguini. He explains uh, yes. to she explains to Linguini how they do to get the freshest vegetables. What do they do? Be the first. They are the first on the distribution. Um, Caroline, how do you call this? The route, right? The distributors, the distributors route. They pay extra. The distributor to get the freshest um, to get the best vegetables to be the first ones to choose right that's key that is a key element that was amazing okay so selecting the right distribution channel i like that like the by the way this is the first step of the lecturing so the, the next group is going to continue the whole story alexander caroline Heidi, irene sandra are going to talk about Talk to us about profile, your optimal distribution partner. So among all of these options, you already selected, let's say, I don't know, a distributor. Um, they will continue letting you know how to move on on this plan. Go ahead, guys, all yours. Okay, first of all, I would like to say that your partners, they are not your children, they are more like uh, your neighborhood children, right? Because you cannot um, uh, punish them, hire them, or correct them, right? But you can coach them and develop them as well because this is the key because you need to select your, your right partner before get in the next topic in this case because that is the one of the the key or the powerful key for your business in order to reach your goal through your customer as well so in this context my and uh, one of the questions that you can that you need to understand or figure out is what kind of customer does this company need to have and yeah, and you and you identify with tech tech customer which pushes in power people who are in trend with tech. We because this is depend of your product. In this case, the product is a cell phone, a new cell phone in the market. Then another thing is what kind of skills and experience will the company need to have to sell this product? And the answer is, what kind of customer does the company need to have? You know, knowledge, efficiency, good service. In this case, excellent good services go is beyond good service. This is the, this is another key. I'm not sure if I am freezing. No, 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 you're doing good actually. We can see the presentation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you make, okay. So in this context, my partners is going to be explained the, the others questions. My partners, okay. What kind of 
have geographical territory. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sure they want to participate. Um, Caroline, Heidi, Irene, and Sandra. Uh, well, as my partner said, says, the next question it's about the geographical territory. So if we we are talk about New Southern, it's necessary to establish um, a good place. Um, for example. Um, the company, the partner company, has to provide good service, customer service, um, uh, even the sellers who have knowledge of the product. So, uh, in this case, could be San Salvador, um, who can, uh, so the sellers who can talk about main characteristics um, of the cell phone. So, um, uh, and, and generate the customer feels motivated by the cell phone because people like to feel the trend, identify with technology, um purchasing power um you know the social networks um so some companies use influencers so the followers like uh, oh you can see see the influence the influencer and and they want to do the same action just for image. That's why they're called influencers. Good, good, good. I got your point. Now, the question goes oriented to which, what kind of geographical territory the company needs to serve. So if you're selling cell phones, will you sell cell phones all the way in the volcano, you know, on the over there in um where did i say you know on the on the well where where, oh, where, the, where there is no service where there is no cell phone service will you sell the cell phones there like a simam no i mean listen oh. if, yeah yeah you know uh, the point. territory um i mean the territory means that for example if you're selling cell phones there's no antennas you know there's no antennas there's in no the in the rural areas, yes, where there is no signal. There's no signal for the cell phone. Will you sell in that no. geographical territory? Correct. That's what this question is about. So national target market, eh, could work. I mean, if we have national coverage, but in reality, there are some places that don't have coverage. They don't have signal. Okay, next slide, I guess. <laughs> Next presentation. Alex. Yeah, that's it. Okay, are you missing anything? Anything else? No, okay. Good, thank you very much, guys. So you have profiled your optimal distribution partner. Okay, now let's go with group number three, which is composed by Johnny, Jose Antonio, Jose Antonio, Jury, and William Alexander. You need to talk to us about uh, create your target list for each category. So just recapping, just recapping what everybody said. First, we decided distribution type, then we performed this study, right? Determining what the company needs to have, how prepared the company needs to be. Do we need experience on the product, on the niche of market, line of business? Um, what kind of 
geographical territory are you going to sell? What's your niche of market? That's it, selecting the right niche of market for your product. Now that you have the right distributor and you know where you're going, you need to create your target list for each category. And that's what William and, and the gang is going to talk about. William is Pandilla. Okay, good. One, two, three, go. Uh, create your target list for each category. Uh, finally, it's time to begin creating your list. Uh, our product is the full. Uh, we choose um, retailer. We cannot hear you. Que no te ve tan pesado. <laughs> he was very upset. I cannot hear you. Come on. <laughs> okay, come on, William. Um, come on, William. I'm sorry, teacher. It's okay. I don't know why you have a problem with my internet. That's better. That's better. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, our product is seafood. We choose uh, the retailer. So we have the our list, and we have Super Selecto, Super Marino, Walmart, and Price Mart. So we have uh, advantage and disadvantage. Uh, for example, Super Selecto. Uh, they pay the transportation of the product. It is a good advantage. Uh, for example, Supermarino, they buy, they buy uh, the best price. And Walmart, uh, they buy wholesale. And Pricemar, they buy, uh, they buy our product at a very low price. I don't know. Okay, did you get it guys? Uh, so basically making the list is like uh, listing or describing each distributor option. So you, you already decided that you want to go for distributors or wholesale then or retailers, then you describe each retailer. You know, you go like, okay, Siman, uh, I don't know, La Curacao. Okay, who's gonna sell my product better? who will position my product better or the best? Who's going to pay me better for my product? Okay. Who will I have to train to sell my product? Who is willing, listen to this, who is willing to give me options to go and do marketing at their branch. For example, if you go to Super Selectos, sometimes, sometimes, at least here in La Miral Valle, they are outside the Super Selectos. You know, they have some displays and, and they make you participate on games to win prizes for buying this product. You got it? Promotions. They let you, they let their, their providers do promotions inside the store or outside. Got it? All of these are benefits. Benefits that you as producer can get by selling your product through these distributors. I think that's very clear. Thank you very much. And the last, practice your partner sales speech. How are you going to sell yourself with the person who you're trying to hire or is going to hire your services. Ada, Irwin, Fernando, Renee, and Jocelyn. Hold yours. Hey, can I begin? Yes. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Sweet. I would try to explain very easy because we need a business with the other company, with the partners in the future. And what we need, we need a sales technical 
for example, introduction, presentation of the business, argument, you will have a session, you have to listen to your session, and convention words with your future partner, and your body language, like this one, okay, can you show it? And you have to say the most important word, you will win the money with our product, yes? Because the other company or the other partner only want one thing, with the money, only that. You will win the money with our company. You will be happy, you will be happy the next year. Okay, excellent, with our product, yes? This is my part. Okay. And before you move on, I'm sorry, uh, repeat, arguments. Argument. So argue, argument. 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 Argue, argue, you. Arguments, okay. Don't, don't stop sharing, I was reading. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Is it our, our, is, is, okay. is, is it the business? When you have a, a business, you say, mm -hmm. um, you try to say this, the, the similar, the similar Right, process. right. We the will infer, process. we will infer in your points. This, I love this. This is really good. Repeat, arguments. You, arguments. Objections. Erwin, objections. That, only that. Arguments, objections. 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 Okay. Very good, Erwin. Thank you. Can I stop? Yeah. Thank you very much. Bless okay. you. Fernando, continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, it is important to 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 have to to how do you say to have a presentation prepared for for that pitch because uh, when it's like a, a, it's something like that a seller, for example, the, they have to, the, he has to prepare what are the correct, co the right words to, to describe what are the, all the benefits that the potential partner can get for you. So that is very important. Uh, you use uh, some tools too, to, to express express uh, express your idea, what are the, the benefits that the customers uh, will will get from the, the partnership? So that is the, that that is important too. That's Perfect. It. So okay, one more. Okay, teacher, as uh, Fernando and Erwin mentioned, uh, well, this is the beginning of the introduction of the product to the client, and we need to explain the benefits the client will have to get this product. It is important that you need to identify to the client what is your message to the potential partner, the key benefits, and that you only ha have only one chance to make an impression to the client. Okay. Awesome. Good job. Repeat, Jocelyn. Message. Message. Yeah, message. 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 Uh -huh. Listen to Sting. Message in a bottle. The police. Message in a bottle. You only have one chance. You only have one chance. You have only you one only chance. Have one chance. That, there you go. Not you have only one chance. No, you only have one chance. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. You see this, this part was very interesting. It was the easiest one, let's say, because it's like the clearest idea that you can have. And you are not selling or convincing a client. You are going to agree. I, I mean, listen, you are... You're, you have your product, you're deciding your distribution channel, you decided which distribution channel you want to use. Perfect, you chosen, you chosen retail stores. Now you are not selling your product to your distributors. You are creating consciousness 
making them aware, convincing them that your product is a good option, okay? Because they will make money as Erwin was saying. You have to convince them that you will, they will make money with your product. Let's say for example, Herbalife, okay? Herbalife is a good example of convincing people. They work in a horizontal, you know, um, mechanism in which they convince, I, I convince these two guys, these two guys convince other two guys and so on, but in parallel, okay? Is the same thing, you're convincing partners, you're convincing people or distributors to partner up with you for your product to be sold on their chain, on their markets, on their channels, you know? just to approach your product to more consumers. That's the whole goal you're pursuing. How do you convince them? As Irwin said, number one, money. That's the first plus, the first add-on that you will have on your product on this sense. Now, what talks more in this sense? What do you have to sell? the participation of your product in the market. Have you heard about it? What is the participation of your product on the market? For example, let's say Coca-Cola. Worldwide, what is the participation of Coca-Cola in the whole world market? Out of all the money generated in the market, what piece of the cake belongs to Coca-Cola earnings? A lot, right? Right? So let's talk about El Salvador. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, what else? And all the other brands. The biggest piece of the cake belongs to Coca-Cola. What do you think that uh, Super Selectos prefers selling? Coca-Cola or Cola Champán? Coca-Cola. Mm. More money, right? You think they get more money with, with one Coca-Cola than with one Cola Champán? Yes. You think? That's a tricky question. Volume versus real earnings. Let me tell you why. Let's say for a cola champagne, Selectos makes five cents. But for a Coca-Cola, they make two cents. Let's say, for example. Okay? Why? Because if they sell more Coca-Colas, logically, they will make more money with that than with cola champagne. Do you understand my point? It's more expensive. It's more expensive for Cola Champagne to sell their product than what it is for Coca Cola. You agree? No? I agree. Yes? Yeah. Makes yes. sense, right? It's volume. Volume. Mm -hmm. That's crazy how it works. And now, how did they reach that uh, percentage of earnings for the distributor? It took time. I mean, it took time. A new product will always pay a higher rate for distributing their product. Eventually with the years, you know, if the product continuously sells, um, then they will go to the distributor again and go like with another presentation, right, Irwin? And go like, hey, you know what? My product grew up thanks to you. Thank you very much. Now I, we need to discuss you know, the percentages that you're making with my product. Uh, we, I need to pay you less for distributing my product because you're making a lot of money, but I'm not making that much. That sounds fair, right? Fair business. Yes, DJ. Okay, good, perfect. Questions? No, no questions, okay. I know this sounds like a little bit boring, but it's not, it's fun. Let's find the sense. Okay, so what you just did is this, possible channels. Will customers buy? Feeds 
product and brand. This is kind of confusing, right? Because there's a difference between the product and the branding. We talked about this before, okay? And but th this is very simple. Let me give you an example. Um, let's say you want to distribute, <laughs> let's say you want to distribute cigarettes, cigarettes. Will you distribute the cigarettes on the Coca-Cola truck? Would you make an alliance, a partnership with Coca-Cola to distribute cigarettes? No. Or shampoo? <laughs> it's like, what? That doesn't make sense, right? Okay, so the product doesn't match, doesn't fit the brand of the distribution channel. Okay, the same thing happens with your organization. Okay. Um, give me an example. Think about the same example I just gave you. The distribution channel that you want to use, does it fit the organization? Hello? Okay, let's continue talking about volume. Um, can I have Uber cars, Uber cars distributing refrigerators for me? No. All right. No. No. They don't have pickups. So they don't trucks. have pickups, trucks, right? That doesn't make sense. Okay, give me another example. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's say you want to distribute guineos, bananas. Would you do that in Ubers? No. 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 Okay. Maybe. Will you will you use delivery service to distribute bananas? Yes. It's possible. Nobody, hey, motorcycles. Hey, nobody does that. Nobody's distributing tamales with motorcycles. <sighs> Delivery service. You go on the social networks and you go like, hey, I'm selling tamales. Cinco por el dólar more. In the whole, in the whole San Salvador area. <laughs> near, near my house. Near my, there is a. Near my house. A... Near my house. Uh huh. There is a, a business that sells uh, panes con pollo, pupusas, and tamales, and you can find it in Pedidos Ya. What? They must be delicious. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. You see, that's the idea. And lastly, profit potential. Now, this is the key, as Heidi mentioned at the beginning of this discussion, this topic, money is the key a good investor a good starter or um, what? okay a good starter or a good interpreter is the one that based all of its decisions on two things money and what is the other one What is the other one? Come on. What is the other thing that you have to consider if you're an interpreter? Money and? Just money? Talking to myself. Oh, 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 talking to myself. I don't like this kind of class, really. Okay, customer's loyalty. If you put the customer first, Ah, money first and customer second, okay? Or 1.2 if you want. That, that's the key, okay? That is the key. Take care of angry customers, dissatisfied customers. Take care of them directly, but don't lose focus from the money in the end. Same example, You're, you want to sell uh, tamales using a motorcycle for delivery service. You have to do the math. 
Are you going to deliver as far as Soyapango and you are in Mexicanos? Will that work? <laughs> really? <laughs> Fernando goes like, an electrical bicycle? An electrical bicycle, no. Motorcycle, maybe. I mean, yeah, an electrical motorcycle. There are electrical motorcycles now in El Salvador. Yeah, but the, the, the person that want to, wants to, to sell that product have to consider the, the, the cost to, to deliver. In Soyapango. What about, yes. if you, what about if you do a partnership and you meet them in the middle, you meet someone in the middle and that person delivers in Soyapango? I don't yes, know. Yes, Th maybe. Think about all the possibilities. <laughs> now, lastly, guys, just to finish this topic, uh, this matrix topic, at the beginning of that lecturing, we read that you have to consider all the distribution options because if you are a producer, you want to distribute your product, okay, but you want also take advantage of wholesalers, right? If I ask you to sell me a hundred units, um, okay, you want to take advantage of that. How do you do it? So all of that is involved on the matrix to uh, select the right distribution channel. I think delivery is like the first option, but also social networks nowadays are like the first, first option to aim. Do you think so? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay, your last task of today. It's very similar to, to the previous one, but I need you to just picture um, a product. Okay, picture one, two, three, four products and discuss with your classmates what are the possible channels you can use with this product? What will be, what will customers buy it? I mean, will customers buy your product if you select that distribution channel? Let's do one together. Let's do one together. Can you help me please? Let's go for any product, just name a product. Mm. Yes, Annie. Mm -hmm. Any product. Any product that comes to your mind. Let's do it together as a class. Sweet bread. Coca -Cola. Sweet bread. Ah, oh, sweet bread. No, mm -hmm. They already have their distribution channel. Okay, we sweet. Sweet bread. That's pastry, right? Pastry. Yes. Let's be more specific. Delicious, delicious, delicious pastry. Delicious pastry. Delicious pastry. Okay. Will customers buy it? Oh, yes. wait, yeah. I'm, I'm doing wrong here. Hold on. That's the brand, uh, the the uh, product. Delicious pastry. First thing, possible channels. Uh, the direct channel. Direct channel. Let's agree, let's agree. Okay, let's go with some of them. Okay, direct channel. Another one? Another option to distribute your bread? Retailers. Retailers. Re uh -huh. Retailers. One more? There was a, a, a channel of distribution, some sort of distributor that represents the company, remember? Personal. Agents. Uh, agents. Sellers. Personal. Sellers, agents. Okay, let's leave it there. So personal agents. Will customers buy if you directly sell the bread? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Retailers. Will they buy from retailers? Yes. Definitely. Will they buy for personal agents? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This could be vendors. Remember what I told you? The people with el canasto outside the housing. Yeah. Okay. 
does the distribution channel fit product and brand? Um, hmm. yeah. on, a, on a direct option, definitely is you, right? You're selling. Retailers, you have to think about this. If you select, I don't know, name a distributor that wouldn't fit. Can you name a distributor that wouldn't fit selling sweet bread? I have one. I have one. What about the salons? If you go to a salon, a hair salon, hair, a hair stylish salon, can they sell bread for you? No. No. Mm, what about the customers waiting? Um, <laughs> you give us about, sometimes they sell cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay. Name another one that will not fit. Sweet bread, pastry. La curacao, sin más. Same thing? Okay, la curacao. Okay, let's say la curacao doesn't fit. Okay, so let's say, no. Retailers, some of them may not fit, some of them. Workshop. Yes. Workshops. Workshops. Hey, but wouldn't it be nice if you, while you're waiting for the car to be repaired, you get a free coffee and delicious like bread. The what? A, a, a car wash? No. Car wash, wash, yes. Car wash, yes. William? Yeah. Hardware. Okay. Hardware store. Uh-huh. Yeah, a hardware store. Yeah, they do. Um, Super Repuestos has the option. You go get a free coffee and free bread. Personal agents, definitely. They will definitely buy. It fits, right? It fits very good. Okay. Um, does it fit the organization? The same thing. These two are related. You know, if, if the retail store, let's say... Uh, doesn't fit your oh well hold on this is critical if you're going for a, a direct distribution channel you are selling your pastry will you you're only selecting that let's say we're only talking about that distribution channel do you think uh la rosario could fit selecting direct sales if only they sell their product, if they didn't have more branches, it was just them selling the product on trucks. You don't get it? Um, let me do it another way. Imagine that La Rosario distributes, El Rosario, I'm sorry, distributes their bread, not in branches, but, but with trucks to little stores. Just like Coca-Cola, they have their own trucks. They say El Rosario, and they go store by store delivering their bread. Will that be? Will that work for them? No. no. Would be. It could be right. Could. Will, yeah. Wouldn't you like to buy El Rosario bread from the little store in your neighborhood? Yeah. Yes. But we will have to consider the price. That's the point. The same happens with retailers. The same happens with uh, personal agents. And at last, so in that last example, El Rosario wouldn't do a direct sell, okay? Because there's no profit. They, there wouldn't be as much profit as they have right now with their branches. You got it? Yep. Yes. Whew, so that's the way you do this chart, okay? Let's do one in groups. We only have seven minutes to fulfill that chart again. Tonight, I'm staying with Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez. Okay, for 10 minutes after the class. Okay, let's work together, filling out that chart with another product. Select a different product, not pastry. Okay. Pizza, pizza.
René, Roberto, and Johnny, please try to join the groups. Okay. Uh, um, what do you think? What kind of product? Mm -hmm. Pepsi Blue. <laughs> 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 Which one? I don't know. I'm sorry, I I think Miguel was saying someone. No, no, no. That product easy for this two weeks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe a bit of the choo-choo app. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, did you try the Pepsi Blue? No. Yeah, two years ago? No. No. No, 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 no. Those days. This is new? Is it? No? Yeah, it's only for Christmas. Really? It's a special edition of Pepsi. Yeah. Um, no, I don't try. I like it. It's a different. Ah, uh, so yeah, uh, salsa sauce. Hey, um, the direction. Cross product and then fix product and then. Um, only, yes. only direct. Okay. Yeah. And they have another brand, Don Pollo. And, and it's the same one? Yes. Really? Yes, it's, a, it's a, the same because if you buy Don Pollo, mm -hmm. and they give you a sweet sweet sauce sauce sweet sauce is oh. a, is the same brand pollo cafe mm -hmm. sweet sauce sauce sweet sauce sauce s o s sauce sauce sweet sauce yes it's the same is the same brand the ketchup Ranch. Um, but but that is um, um. You mean it's the same product but with different brand? With with different name. The name is like a another target. Target. Niche market. Yes, because in the Pollo Campero is for people who want to go to the restaurants or or go to the or delivery. But Don Pollo is only a person who wants to buy and go for and give and give the. can be applied 
wholesale. Wholesale. Will customer buy? Yes. And Derek Channel. Yes. And this one, who sell? Yes, I mean, yes, yes. Yes. The Kenyans. Minoristas. Toponero, le llaman. Toponeros le llaman aquí en la, en la playa a los minoristas. And this case, what is this? I, I don't know. Can 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 you explain me, teacher? What is this? This fit product and brand. The idea of that. I don't. I don't. Ah, um, es como que tengas el decía a los camiones de Coca Cola vendiendo Pepsi, vaya. <laughs> <laughs> Ahí claro ejemplo. O, o más claro aún a los vendedores de Coca Cola vendiendo cigarros. Aparte de distribuir la coca, distribuyen cigarros, o sea, ¿no? o partes de carro. Oh my God, it's like, no vea. Como que vendiera pescado y aceite. Algo ajá, así. ajá. Oh my God. Eso sí que tiene más sentido vender tortillas y queso. Mm. Right? <laughs> That's a good example. Ok. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go back. Entonces, I keep telling myself. Okay, it's 9.59. We gotta go. Espero que, bueno, hago lo, lo mejor que puedo. Yo sé que hay temas que no mucho, ¿ya? pero he tratado de enfocarme en que ustedes participen en la clase. Eh, trataremos de seguir así de que ustedes participen en la clase que traten de darle sentido, el gusto a estos temas eh, y seguimos mañana, same time ok, at 8 o'clock, let me do the attendance I'm staying with um, someone else to be said with Suleyma Yvonne tonight, ok Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza yes, Okay. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Okay. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Okay. Irene Sena no. Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jenny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Present. Romero Argueta. So, Thank you. Present. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night, Wendy Patricia night. Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. 
Present. And just an email that arriba a Sabarca. Present teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. Okay, okay, okay. Teacher. Hey, uh, Andres, yep. Did you take my attendance? Yep. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hello, hello. Hello, it's me. How are you tonight? I cannot hear your beautiful voice because your microphone is off. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Repeat again. Yes, How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Lately, you've been going through some health issues. Have you? Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm better. I'm better the last week I have a little surgery. I don't know if you remember about my problem with the cordial teeth. And I, last week I had a lot of pain with that. Yeah, I saw you with uh, ice cubes, I think, an ice mm -hmm. bag. An ice pack, an ice pack. Yeah. Okay. I only have three days for rest and I have to back to work on Thursday last week. And it was a problem because I was three days out of the of my office. So I had a lot of work <laughs> when I came back. Work. Yeah. Wow. And when I came back to my house on last Thursday, uh, I feel so bad with a lot of pain. And I sleep well uh, until yesterday. No. Because, yeah, the pain and I, I don't know, it was really, really difficult. And I have my medicine here. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of, of but pills. Was it a good surgery? I mean, was it a successful surgery? Yeah, it was a, a successful, but I I have a lot of pain and damage on my cheeks mm -hmm. inside. And to, on Saturday, I have another, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say, distraction. Yes. Another intervention, another surgery. Yes. For the other side? No, for uh, the, the upper, the up. upper side, mm -hmm. the upper side of your mouth. Oh my God. So you had never, you had never taken your cordals off? Only one. Just one. When you were a kid? Uh, around, no, uh, I think it was around eight years or 10 years ago, but uh, never uh, have uh, the need to intervention remove of them, another, to remove yeah, them. to remove the others. Were Until they now? Were they laying down? Laying down. Laying down. You know, they are standing up. The molar. Okay, they're laying down. Uh, no, it's uh upside. Upside down. Yeah. Uh -huh. The boca abajo. They were opposite. Mm -hmm. That happened to my wife too. They call them lazy molars, right? Lazy yeah. molars. Ah. Oh. Well, have you been eating ice cream? Yes, <laughs> but I I prefer to rest in my house so, because it's it's really difficult to stay at work with the paint and a lot of stuff that you have to do and talk with people is really difficult because the pain because of the pain i'm going through a similar situation um tomorrow may be the last day i work from home i think i'm there they are asking me forcing me to go back to the site i don't want to go back to the site i think <laughs> i think i'll wait one more month to see how it goes and then quit 
you know, after after the Christmas bonus, maybe, I don't know. But I'm thinking about quitting after all this, you know, because they just want me to go back, but I can't because I take care of my my oldest son. He's all the, the whole day with me, you know, and I don't want to leave him alone. I mean, he's 12 yeah. years old. He's 12 years old, but I don't know. I don't trust him it's to be really alone. It's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really difficult. It's and do you know what is the worst part of, of this uh, problem? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the other intervention on Saturday, but tomorrow is my birthday. Oh, my God. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 31? No. You said you had you were 30 last time. <gasps> no. No? Okay. Um, no. Don't, don't bother. Don't 42. worry. 32. 32. Or 40. 42. Okay. We eat 42. the years. We eat the years. I'm almost 40. Next on, on January, I'm becoming 40. Yeah. yeah. What are you planning to do tomorrow? Work? <laughs> Other than work. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, At what time it's, do you? It's very, it's very difficult because we have a, um, a business in my house. Uh, my husband has his own business in the house uh, selling uh, all accessories for accessories. cell phones cell phone accessories cell, phones. cell phone yeah. accessories uh-huh cell phone accessories and sell uh, uh, games for a playstation 3 really four. yeah and maintenance of uh, that type of uh, how do you say consoles 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 uh, he gives computers. maintenance for he gives maintenance for uh Computers, consoles, playstations. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's very smart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have. Um, it's not only for my husband. We have another people that help with all that that kind of stuff. And for the season, we are selling um, a lot of kind of uh, Christmas lights, Christmas decorations, lights. Yeah okay mm -hmm. oh really that's really good and we are closing uh the business around 8 p.m so it's From it's very Mo difficult monday to yeah. sunday yes so it's very difficult uh make a plan for go out dinner or something like uh, that so. he, he must have prepared something for you i'm sure I don't know. Are you in Santa Ana? I'm not Tecla? sure about that. No, I am in Santa Ana. Oh my God, in Santa Ana, it's true. Yeah. And I want to go to Santa Ana. I want to eat tortas near. Santa Ana, torcha. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's right. No. That's where I went last time with my brother. He took me to La Torcha. He, that's near near the Hotel Inn, right? Mm, no, the Torcha is not. Where is in it? that place. I, oh, in no. The is near is, to Insa. Yes. Yes, it's near to Insa. It's true. No, no, no. But there's another place around Hotel Inn, La 25. Like if you were going to San Miguelito. I can't remember the streets on Santa Ana. I was 16 years old when I moved. Uh, there, do you remember that, that hotel? Mm -hmm. that, I right? remember so, the hotel, but I... Can in the corner, that. right in the corner, next to the hotel, there was a, an old guy, an old guy selling tortas. But now after him, you know, there's a big uh, place where they make the tortas just for to take off, to take out. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. They're delicious. And he took me once as well to eat tacos at, at El Revolucionario, I think it was his name. Carretera Huachapan. I don't like that tacos. Really? A guy who is from El Frente? Yes. Uh -huh. I, I remember that I tried that tacos some years ago, but I didn't like, didn't like uh, it. I, I was sick after that. You got sick after that? Yes. Okay. You didn't trust them, maybe. 
I don't know, but they were delicious. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know if uh, because all the uh, species. The, the species? Uh -huh. the, he, yes, he was using... because I have a problem with the colitis. Oh, oh really? Yeah. It was so... really, it's, it was like, like a bone. A bone, yeah. Stomach. No Indian food for you. Mm -mm, no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoy your birthday tomorrow. We'll maybe yeah. we will see. We will see each other. Are you coming to class tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, I'll see you then. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank Take you care. for all.